for watching another quick tip video from GoEngineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is going to be on utilizing SolidWorks's tolerances that are inside of the SolidWorks option settings to be leveraged into a drawing, or for that matter, as a property inside of a SolidWorks part file uh, to be used anywhere you want. So let's get started by going in there and creating a new part using my template. Now my template, I go a little bit beyond inch. I add the material and in this one I'm putting tolerance one for my tolerance standard uh, one in any company. So from there, let's just go in and dig into what I have in the file properties. And you can see my first property name is block tolerance one, block tolerance two, block tolerance three and these equate to something. So if you want to see where these came from, in addition, I'll explain some of these other tolerances down here. Although the focus of this video is really to keep it simple and to use block tolerances inside your part file. Let me show you where these other ones come in and where you find the block tolerances. If we go into the settings and we go into the document properties tab, under dimension expert, you have methods. If you set the methods to block tolerance, that's going to create an, or turn on this area for block tolerances. If you had it set to general tolerances or general block tolerances, you won't get the ability to change this down here with the exception of general block tolerances, you'll have this area down here to at least change the length and the angle tolerance. So let me show you where all this comes into play and why I say to keep it basic, just stick with using block tolerances. These seem to work best and this would be my recommendation. So inside of here, you can see I'm at 0.1 for one decimal place. 0.02 and 0 0.015 for 3. So if I go back and look again at my properties, these are the values that you just saw as far as my block tolerances. Also, I have an angle tolerance that I put in there at 0.5. Now, I added these as my own property name, and I just used the same property name that's in the options wizard I was just showing you because I also wanted to explain general tolerances and the general block and general length tolerances in here because those are captured from somewhere else and again 7 through 12 I would delete I wouldn't even use those I would use the block tolerances that I just showed you that are on the very first option so with that being said if I go in and just model a part real quick to go make a drawing out of this part, let's just go in and do that real quick. So in my drawing template, I have, let's just save this and make a new drawing. And I have a drawing template where I've gone in and modified the properties down here to bring in my custom property. So this was just bringing in the custom properties that I have. If I went in and edited this, these are the custom properties I have in my model name. So when I lay this out, I like putting my model in first and then deleting my model out if I was building a drawing template. But I could go in and grab those block tolerances right from here. So now let's look back at the part to see how I went in and brought those tolerances into my properties. So again, I just named this whatever I wanted. In this case, I called it the same thing as the tolerance that I'm pulling up. Because if you look down at the very bottom of an internal SOLIDWORKS feature, 
you have linear block tolerance. You have linear block tolerance with decimals. Don't get this confused. The one with decimals is the general tolerance. The one with block tolerances are the linear block tolerance. So linear block tolerance equates to your block tolerances. Let me just show you on one. This one will be a block test. I'll go in there and pull my linear block tolerance. It gives me my 0.1. If I came in here and looked at pulling another, like a general block tolerance, and I came down here and got this confused because I think I'm using my decimals and I wanted to go in and say block tolerance there, general block tolerance, it equates to one. So don't use these unless you wanted to go in and use just the length option and the angle option found under general tolerances. But I'd highly recommend block tolerances, giving it a property name. When you go in there and pull that property name, make sure you pull that property name from the right area, meaning that you're going to pull it from the linear block tolerances. These are the ones that you turn on that have one, two, and three decimal places in it. So that's a quick way of tying your block tolerances in. If you put those in a template and you tie that property into that area inside your drawing template, you can always have the right tolerances based on what you're designing with. So thanks again for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. Thank you.